All right, we are here at the CTF, which is a competition for maritime hacking. We've got a set of fossils behind us that are representative of OT technology that we find on a small commercial ship or a large pleasure yacht. So it's really interesting. We've got uh, the contestants are going to be able to hack on the consoles over CAN bus or an EMT 2000. We've got it running today through tomorrow. We've got a virtual competition that's starting tomorrow for uh, offline analysis on data hack that are going to be posted tomorrow on Discord. Here is the million dollar question. They score points by hacking the, the ship, we'll yes. say, the controls. What is the ultimate goal they're, they're pushing for? Like, what's the type of control they're gonna get during the contest? Yeah, so we've got three subsystems that are on here, steering, propulsion, and navigation. We've got different flags. If you guys are familiar with the uh, the Ever Given event that happened back in uh, in March, one of the flags is named after jamming the rudder hard, hard port. And you know, and if that's a that's a pretty critical failure at that point. You're overriding the, the physical controls with the serial connection and then so that's that's sinking the ship. That's the cyber sea. So the ultimate yeah. just getting this right, yeah. The ultimate goal of the contest is to sink the ship. Exactly. We're representing showing like, hey, this is what could happen in the worst case when you when you exploit the animals. That's awesome. Man, it's really tempting to touch every button, but I don't want to mess with anyone's CTF. But this is Really freaking cool. <laughs> These guys right now, Aquaman is hacking away at a virtual boat trying to sink it. And they're in second, but man, it are ne oh no, they're in first. They're tied for first, neck and neck right now with only a few seconds between them. They took some, they're gonna take a quick break from exploitation just to talk through some of the things they've been doing. So first and foremost, what attracted you guys to this CTF? Did you know you were going to do it before con? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, I've done like all these kinds of online CTFs before, you know, so those weren't uh, anything really special, but I saw this and this is something I'd never seen before. And it seemed like a once in a, you know, DEF CON opportunity. Uh, there's something particularly satisfying about hacking a physical system, I think. Uh, you can see all the things move and um, it's just it's just very cool. It's so cool because I'm seeing teams go up here and every time like they launch an exploit, you see the wheel turn, you see like the 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 gas go off, the tilt of the boat go all over the place. It is so, so cool. So with you guys scoring so high, what things have you been able to accomplish so far? Uh, so we've basically been able to hijack the boat. It's pretty cool. Like we can uh, change the, you know, the throttle. We can steer the boat entirely. And so now we're working on just hacking the navigation so you could send it to an arbitrary destination, turn on autopilot, stuff like that. Cool. So like, well, how, how do you go about doing that? Like, obviously, it's not like a normal system where there's like a, a web admin interface. Is it is it like protocol fuzzing you're doing? How, like, how do you go about sending like sending the malicious payload? So uh, we, record, we record data from the bus, and uh, we look for discrepancies in the data whenever we uh, change a feature um, on the ship. And uh, once we've identified uh, whichever, whatever triggers such a feature, or whatever changes, for example, the direction of the ship, we can spoof that data and inject it back into the bus. So, so what you're doing is you, you dump the information off, you listen to it, you kind of like reverse engineer it a little bit. Do you have a... Like, are you working from a technical documentation for the boat? You, you legitimately have to go, like, start from scratch. No documentation, reverse it, and then start trying it. So, okay, you pull the information off, you put it on your system, you reverse engineer it, you now go, okay, like, I think I know how to control this, I know how to control this. You make your payload, what happens next? Well, then you just test it out. You know, basically after you've captured all of this data and you've, you know, put the throttle all the way, put it back, put it all the way and you've timed it and you look at your packet capture and you say, oh, these bytes changed. So these bytes are responsible. Then you make your payload and you attack. You just see if it works. I mean, yeah. uh, what, what, what has been the most satisfying feeling when you've la launched the exploit? Which one have you done so far where you're like, like you physically see it happen, and you're like, oh, that's terrifying. Like, because we know this is supposed to match a real boat. This isn't like a mythical, like, I, like CTF challenge where the challenges don't really match real life. Like what has been the most satisfying one you found? For me, the most satisfying has been uh, when we finally got control over the throttle working. Uh, steering alone, you know, it's pretty cool. But once you have steering and throttle, you can really take the boat anywhere you want and it has been both uh, scary and very satisfying to have that control. That's awesome. Man, like, you guys, I don't want to take any more time from you guys. Like, 
Man, you guys are neck and neck. Best of luck. And, and that's how you hack a boat at DEF CON. Thanks for watching and hack on.